welcome back to the DMT Show. This is episode number 30, and my name is Aryan. My name is Andy. My name is Ashok. And my name is Jason. And today, for episode 30, we're joined by a very special guest. Would you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Jeevan George, and I'm the guest for this episode. I am running for student government uh, currently at Sayasa High School, and I'm running for Senate President. Ooh, there you go. All right, yeah, so in our school, we got student government elections coming up very soon. So, Jeevan, why should people vote for you? I think the reason that people should vote for me is really just because I have the experience that uh, you don't really get to see in Senate. I know that talking with you, uh, a lot of people who have been in student government for a lot of years, you don't really ever see anyone who serves in Senate two times because Senate's really just exclusive for juniors and seniors, and it's usually held exclusively by seniors. I've had the uh, ability and the opportunity to be in Senate as a junior. I served as the vice president this school year, and I helped with everything that happened. So I, I know what it takes, and I can tell you that, and anyone who's been in student gov, at the beginning of the year, there is usually a learning curve that happens with the president's position where they're trying to figure out what they're doing. But... Uh, that wouldn't happen with me because I, I've been able to learn from the current and previous people and I'd be able to help us get a lot more done in the year. Yeah, that was, that was a great pitch, man. <laughs> uh, can I ask you, how long have you been in student gov? So I've been an officer in student gov for or just uh, this last year, but I've been a member of student gov by going to the meetings since my freshman year. Mm, okay, good. All right. All right, all right. Experience. Go for G, everyone. Yeah, vote for Jesus. Every so, single question. Yeah. You see the posters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see the posters, you see the posts. Yeah. So Um make, next make question right though place. is what what's like a characteristic about yourself that makes you like special? And like what like I don't know, what makes you different than other people and other candidates? I'm gonna say the biggest thing is uh, I think at least that I'm able to really start a conversation with anyone. I know that even coming right here, uh uh, Ari and I met in a driver's ed car and from there I've been able to make a relationship with him and really whoever it is I mean I love to make, talking to new people and I really think that it's when you get to talk to everyone else who's in our school that you can actually make a difference for everyone not just yourself. I know that even uh, the couple of minutes leading up to the show uh, just before, leading up to the recording I felt really comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but I felt really comfortable just talking to you guys, even though we haven't yeah. really talked before. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. All right. What All we right. try to do here. Yeah. So, <laughs> what exactly do you do as Senate? Like, what is the role of Senate President? Like, what did what does that position do? So, I think to really understand what Senate does, you kind of have to quickly go into what the class officers do. So, what the class officers do is really specific for the grades. So, like the freshman people really just work on getting everyone back into the grades. Sophomore is really uh, getting used to the grades and trying to get people to do more activity, to get more involved in school. The junior officers, uh, I know we've seen from like Parker and the other junior officers that it's something where you try to really get everyone in and try to get everyone ready for senior year. And then senior officers are the ones who plan for your prom, your senior your clothing and everything like that. So uh, now that we have that down, what Senate does is a little bit different where you're not just worried about one specific grade, but you're worried about the entire school. So, and also events that happen outside of school. So anything that happens with multiple grades, for example, Senate was in charge of setting up our carnival for this last year. So we helped with that. Any big things that happen also have to go through Senate. So like any of the clubs that pass this year, any of the groups that were passed, all that stuff comes through Senate and Senate makes sure that it's not just kind of like a free-for-all that's happening along with that uh, at student government meetings it's senate who runs it making sure that everything goes smoothly and that everyone kind of gets what they want so would you say that yeah. student government officers are more like grade oriented while senate is more like school-wide yeah i think the grade officers have to be a little bit more focused in with their grade while the uh senate officers are kind of with everyone makes sense nice. yeah. i gotta ask hold on real quick so you, uh, I know the carnival is like one of the big things, especially for this year. I feel like also for juniors, since we don't have like the problem or whatever. So, do you mm -hmm. have any other potential events that you foresee coming from the Senate, or, or not? So I, I know there's always been a, a lot of events that we want to have. Sometimes with time constraints and what everything that happens. I know this year there were a lot of other events that we wanted to do, 
but with how scheduling came out where we didn't really know until a week ago whether or not we were going to have finals and everything kind of just comes out last minute it was kind of hard to plan for anything because we the, the information changed day to day i think the best example of that was like let's say it was a couple weeks ago with uh eid where yeah, they imagine yeah, they just suddenly switched it from the tuesday to the monday so everything that happened then kind of just so that, i think that's just one example but uh, everything in our school seems to change by the minute, so it's hard to plan, but we always have a lot of great ideas. I mean, the carnival was a really good event. Uh, it was. Yeah. It was I so agree. fun. All of us went there, and yeah, yeah. Last. Uh, yeah. I'd like to say it was also one of our most successful carnivals. I think we were able to raise close to $50,000 this year. Whoa. It was huge. Uh, along with that, uh, we, we did, so it wasn't just like we wasted that money. Uh, Student Gov's done a lot with it this year. We've been able to help out a lot of people, a lot of clubs. I know uh, with the recent events, and I mean, not so recent anymore, but uh, with what was going on in Ukraine, we were able to help out a lot. Uh, there was the family that was affected in the Hidden Ridge fire. We donated to them as well. And uh, a lot of different events like that, where uh, even if it's things that happen every year. So like with uh, people who are going to be seniors, we recently proved that we're giving you guys, we got the money for the parking passes. So uh, seniors can park their cars in the senior lot. And I'm trying to think of something else we did. The ACT, uh, ACT's uh, big play, it was the Adams family. We helped give them the money oh, yeah. to uh, get the license for that and to uh, run their play because they were a little bit short. So it's all those little things that that money's gone to. So we've been able to help out a lot of people with that money. Yeah. See, I think it's good yeah. that, like... Not bad, but I think it's good that like you, like the money you're raising going back into like the like you said like I feel like a, a, like from what you said it would be a lot of the clubs and it's kind of going back to, into the culture of the school almost because like the clubs are kind of what's uh, that's where the vigor and the you know the spirit of the school comes from. I think that's a good thing to keep it alive. And I think it's good mm -hmm. that you're using the money for that. Yeah, I think uh, if you talk, if you I don't know if you guys have ever heard. I feel like whenever any like teacher, like assistant principal or principal, anyone talks about the school they always have to bring up the clubs so i think it's a great thing especially yeah. when you're looking at our school where it's like everyone's in a gazillion clubs so yeah I feel like r regardless of where you put the money in clubs someone's getting impacted one way or another mm -hmm. yeah all right That's yeah, I, was, you know, I was gonna ask something else maybe i don't know how well you can answer this but if you could say something that makes us stand out among other schools i mean you could just add on to what you said about the clubs if you want but if you could say something that makes Syosset stand out from other schools, what would you say it would be? I think the biggest thing that makes Syosset stand out is the fact that so many people actually want to be here. I think when I've talked to people from other schools, so many people are just like, I can't wait to get on the bus, go home. I feel like uh, like it, it's annoying. I don't know if any of you have ever taken a late bus, but it gets pretty annoying yeah. trying to take like the 350 bus or the 430 yeah. bus because those things are packed. But I think that just speaks yeah. to what the actual community in our school is where it's like everyone's saying away it's saying in school for something at some point and for those buses to be full every single day it's annoying when you're trying to get home but other than that it really shows you that si the people at Syosset really want to be there which is why I want to help continue that change like I did this year as vice president yeah makes right. sense right. I mean, good answer yeah <laughs> all right so we do have a question that's a little um, off topic from student government. So I've been told that you were kind of a beast in the gym. Um, so Girl, how did you get okay, into bro. like weightlifting and all of that? Yeah, so uh, the weight room, I, uh, so I actually moved here when I was in ninth grade. Ninth grade was my first year in Syosset. Oh, really? And one of the thing, yeah, so one of the things that I did my freshman year was I wanted to play football, so I joined the team. And when you're on that team, they kind of push you into the weight room for a couple of things. And something about that just made me fell in love with it. And I kind of stuck to it. And it's something I really enjoy now. All right. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it I, sense. I imagine you kind of get pushed. I don't I don't say like pushed around if you're like a freshman joining the football team. But I mean, I guess that makes sense. Would, it, would you say that like if there's anybody... Not, not, not pushed around, but like, you know, getting yeah. pushed into the gym. Like they, they kind of like... You, you go with the team, the team goes in a lot, and it was just that love that, like, you, you kind of build a sense of relationship with them. And I think it's actually, I, I've had the same lifting partner since the first day I started lifting, which is, I think, crazy. That's cool. Oh, wow. Uh, good thing to have. That's your name. 
is there anything that like in terms of the gym that is there any advice that you would give to people who would either want to start or who are already start how who have already started but want to keep going like some sort of motivation i think the biggest thing i've got to say is for, uh, for people who aren't in it yet i'd say you got to try everything don't just because i think that's the biggest thing where people do a program based on who they go with like if you go with someone who loves benching every day you might just go and bench and that might not be for you so i'd say literally try everything i, I know that i had a friend who's never worked out before and he got a gym membership i told him he was like oh what should i do for my first day i told him yeah don't even bother actually going in with the program the first day literally just go around you know have a little bit of fun try out every machine see what feels nice what you enjoy what you don't and after that that's when you should really start figuring out what you because if you just go in and say it kind of make it like a torturous routine where it's like oh i just want to do this to get it over with i want to do this to get better look better whatever it is you're not going to stick to it it's when you really start to enjoy working out that you're going to actually stick to it yeah yeah where'd you um out of curiosity where'd you move from before ninth grade so I used to live in East Meadow, but I went to a Catholic school before that. Gotcha. Okay. All right. How is that experience different from like this public school where it's not like based on religion? Because I've never really so, been to one. So. <laughs> yeah. So I think the biggest difference was the school difference. So in my entire school, it was a nursery to eighth grade school with around 500 students in the entire mm -hmm. school. That's pretty small. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then when you compare that to our grade, I think we're somewhere in the 500 to 600 range for just our graduating class. So yeah. it was definitely a big size difference. Uh, I, I'd like to say that the biggest difference, like th there are a couple of small differences, like we had uniforms and we had religion class. But other than that, there wasn't really too much. It wasn't like a huge difference where it was impossible to fit in. I think similar to my idea with the gym, it was really trying a lot of different things that really got me to find where I fit in in Zayasi. Yeah. Did you find it, it difficult sense. to fit in? Or was it just like your personality made it really easy? I think it's a mix of personality and the fact that regardless of where you come from, freshman year, I feel like everyone's a little bit lost. Yeah. So you can kind yeah. of like find your way in. <laughs> You're on the same yeah. boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think me being not being from Sayasi made me a little bit more like want to try to figure out my way. Remember my freshman year, uh, I don't know if any of you remember, they had the actual like parent teacher conferences, the yeah, like in person yeah, yeah. for, mm -hmm. yeah, that was like a week into freshman year, but by then I somehow managed to become the uh, guide for it. Like I was a, a week whoa, into freshman whoa, year, I was the one wait, who really? was, yeah, I was the one who was telling everyone which way to go. <laughs> and I, I think it's still funny because I have friends who looked at their schedule this year as a junior and they're like, I have no idea where this classroom is. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's also partly due to like COVID. And like, you probably like, mm -hmm. weren't even in the school for the past like year and a half. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. But, All right. Um, <laughs> that's wrong. Yeah. So we're going to start moving into some of our other like off topic quick questions. We like to call them our quick fire questions. So the first one, it's uh, quite simple. Uh, Pepsi or Coke? Which one is your preference? I gotta say Coke. Good choice. Yeah, you. That's a correct Sugar, answer. What about you guys? <laughs> I mean, I think we all, most of us would say Coke. Yeah, yeah I'd Coke. say Coke. Sugar. All right, I feel like for you it would be more of a toss up though, but I don't know. Ah, I have You'll a just lot of Pepsi in the house because <laughs> I think my mom likes Pepsi, but I'm more of a Coke guy. I still yeah, get to say like, th th there's like a slight difference. It depends on how you feel, but you know, I I, I like. I grew up just like watching like those motivational like Warren Buffett videos, so I gotta stick with Coke for Warren Buffett. <laughs> there you go. Also, a man's I like ninety I... years old and drinks two liters of cherry Coke a day. I mean, yeah. th there's got to be something right that Coke's doing if he's, just, if he's still alive. Uh, yeah. I mean, also if you add ice to both, I feel like Coke just tastes so much better with ice than Pepsi does with ice. I don't know why, but like what? It's just something. It's just it's, it's a different. Okay. Actually, right. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Personally, me. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Never mind. Sorry, Next question. Uh, okay. I'm bad at show. You can go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't really drink Coke or Pepsi because I try and stay away from like caffeine just in general. Because I've I've seen my brother. He like almost got like a caffeine like 
dependency or, or like like not really addiction but like he needed caffeine in the morning in order to function he needed it every day i'm just like that i do not want to have any dependency on that like a drink what's up guys show looking very nice all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, we got a special guest, another one. We got um, Parker. So, Parker, do you want to introduce yourself? And I mean, you've been here before, but what? Did, why are you here? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Um, so I'm returning uh, junior class president, and I think what we're talking about today is elections that are coming up for our school. Yeah, very exciting. All right, we're gonna give you some of the questions that we gave to you. So, uh, first question I got is, why should people vote for you, Parker? Why should people vote for me? Yeah. Um, so I'm just leave it at this. Uh, I've been the uh, sophomore and junior class president, and I've done lots of things for our grade, including um, the St. Baldrick's fundraiser, where uh, both Jeevan and I shaved our heads. Uh, this was uh, last month uh, during April. Yeah, we had a basketball tournament. And we raised over $2,000. Oh, yeah. And right. then um, all for uh, to combat like childhood cancer and um, like raise money for research. And then uh, another thing that we did for our school and at my class was uh, help organize something called Battle of the Classes, which is basically a field day type event where it's the juniors versus the seniors. And um, uh, there are lots of different events like tug of war, uh, like field goal kicks, like penalty shootouts for soccer. It's, it's going to be a fun time. So yeah, it's just a few things I've done during, um, I guess, my tenure in student government. I have a quick question. So last time you were on the show, you mentioned that there was a problem with the bathrooms and there being not enough paper towels. Yes. issue. Like in our school, right? If you go to our school and you're watching this, in our school, right? We don't have paper towels in the bathrooms. Dude, I know yeah. we don't have it. It's what so gets me mad. You know what gets me mad? The water fountain, that's a whole COVID issue, so we'll leave that to the side. But the fact that there are no paper towels in the bathrooms, I have to use like the hand dryers, like the hand dryers, they spread the germs. I'm just not even a hand dryer. I just use my shirt. Yeah, and I I, 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 I said too. Like, you know how nice it would be to walk into class and someone like like there's water in my pants, so like wa- wa- like watching people look at my pants, like do peers up? Like, no, I didn't. I just don't have paper towels in the bathroom. So like that's something we've been trying to get back. And if I'm being honest with you guys, the reason why they don't have paper towels in the bathroom is because like kids be stuffing their paper towels like before. Like kids are like devious in this whole bathroom for no reason. Has that situation improved? And if not, why not? It has improved. Let me tell you how. Nice. It's really funny. So right after we recorded that episode, and I went on that like whole rant that was featured in the intro, mm-hmm. um, they actually put the paper towels back like that next week. Like <laughs> after the episode dropped, two days after that on Monday, they came back, and now it's it's just a godsend. I use them yeah, all the time. Now. Like, yeah, I'm so happy about it. All right, the power of the DMT show. Exactly. <laughs> the power of the DMT show. All right. So, uh, Parker, our next question for you is like, what is a characteristic about you that makes you special from like other candidates that you're running against? Um. So I think one characteristic that I have is um, that's I guess would benefit like our entire class is uh, my leadership skills. So just an example of that, like obviously I just told you that I was the sophomore and junior class president, and I was also. Um, I was also the captain of the volleyball team as a junior. That's something I'm very proud of. I was the only junior captain on the team. And uh, I try to take leadership positions in, like on, my, on the track team as well by like, coaching up my teammates like Jeevan um, in like the throws. And so that's just some of the ways I try to take initiative and just be a leader in our school, like on sports teams and stuff like that. So that's what I think separates me from other candidates. I, I can so, account for that. He coached me while I was on the track team. It was, it was mm-hmm. good coaching. Thank you. <laughs> Were you there for like a day? I was there for like three days because coach made me, but I, I did learn a lot. <laughs> I, I think I want to actually add to that. I think Parker is a really determined guy. I mean, I, I like nice. talking about just school in general or if it's like classes or track. Parker is always someone who, I, I at least from what I see, he's always working his hardest. So I think he'd be a great senior class president and he's a great junior class president right now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Same thing words have never been spoken. I mean, ha- my hands would be wet every time I leave the bathroom if it wasn't for Parker. So, like, <laughs> exactly. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. why he's the leader. We all, we all, did, we all took um, part in that role. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Definitely. There we go. And I think one of the that, that was a that, good pun. That was um, a good pun. <laughs> I think one of the things that both you guys have in uh, common is... Oh, in a role. 
<laughs> yeah, that was actually not on purpose. I didn't get that, that either. Good. I just kept on going. Just I didn't either. Get it. He's so good. Yeah. They doesn't have to think about it. Parker, he's just, he's witty. He's no dedicated. Different. He's a leader. Like, what else can you ask in a man? I mean, he's trying. Bald? I mean, no, I mean one, thing, one thing we, one thing we no, can't I want a lot of people saying I look like an egg. Wait, I'll wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> egg, like, if you guys want to put like a picture of me next to like the egg from Shrek, you know? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. We don't want to do you like that. It's all right. No, it's okay. I've heard. Yeah, I got that. Matt from Wii Sports for a while because I, 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 oh, I, I had the I had the go right after I shaved my head too, so it was identical oh my to Matt God. from Wii Sports. Yeah, I got Walter We're White. Crazy. I got Walter White. Yeah, the goatee plus the bald head. <laughs> not good for the yeah, What a combo. Yo, not Matt, good with the name. I'm sorry, but Matt is actually kind of funny. Like, uh, that was, that was actually no, so that was great. Really good one. That was probably the best one I heard. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, but one thing we can ask from Parker is the more important questions in life. So, Parker, Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi or Coke. I'm actually not a big soda drinker. Like, I don't drink soda that much. Okay, um, orange juice. I don't get it. Orange juice or apple, apple juice? Come on. There's only one right answer. answer. There's one right answer. Apple juice, though. Damn it. Thank you. That's correct. No, I'm apple going with apple juice. juice, yeah. I mean, I think it's better than orange ah. Like orange juice. I don't know. So it's like at least phlegm. No, oh, yeah. Uh, it's like what? phlegm in my house. Yeah, in my, in like my mouth. Though. It's like really bad. Another surprise guess. guess. Number two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the pulp, right? Probably the pulp. No, not even the Bro. pulp. It's just... Not pulp? Is, it's just weird. I don't yeah, know. I agree. I mean, I'll drink okay, it, sir. like, but if there's apple juice Parker's around, gonna anger a lot of people right now with that. <laughs> yeah, gonna... I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm speaking my truth, like, you know. It, it is the truth. Your truth is, <laughs> it is the truth. truth. I need mean, to make sense. It makes sense. Parker's venting. All right, Jeevan, we have a question for you, because uh, Parker's already answered it. I mean, Parker, maybe your answer came from last time, but we already asked Parker this before. The ultimate would you rather question, it's a really difficult question. Would you rather... Yeah. Have infinite money and infinite <laughs> yeah. friends, or no, or no money and no friends. You gotta think about infinite. it. Right? You gotta think about it. <laughs> he said his answer. Right? <laughs> I, I I gotta say infinite. Why would I not want infinite money? <laughs> exactly, yeah. bro. Exactly. Tell him Can you imagine people... that? Someone robs you and it's like, all right, you you want more? I got more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean... Did you also imagine somebody? If somebody robs you, you're like, bro, I don't got anything, bro. Like, we literally got nothing. <laughs> like, bro, what who's going to rob you? They're all your friends. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> Arian, you want to explain your answer, please, to Jeevan? So, I, do, I, know, I, I did say um, no money, no friends. I'm one of the very few. Okay, I got I to gotta hear it. I, I've got to hear the, like, the explanation of this one. So, it's just like all of the... Because all it's saying... There's different ways to interpret the question. But oh my goodness. <laughs> the way it works oh. is like you start off with no money, no friends, but you can still do stuff like you can make friends. If you already had infinite money and infinite friends, what are you going to do now for the rest of your like life? Just like you already, you already got everything. You already got everything. So like, all right. No, no, not, now you got a mission. You could try to uh, just spend all that money. That's a mission. Yeah. You <laughs> also, can try even? to help the world. Right. This will seal the deal. You get infinite votes. Mm. There you go. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you yeah. gotta get those infinite votes. Dream. Every politician's a dream. <laughs> All right. You can uh, actually be walk. actual Senate in the actual Senate, and Park can be in the actual president. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're right. That's crazy. You're right. <laughs> That's the way to do it. All right. So we have uh, one last question, one last quick fire question. This one, you might have to take uh, a couple minutes to think about. What is your favorite moment of junior year so far? So, I mean, it might take you guys a couple of minutes. So if any of our hosts have any answers. All right, Andy, you're up. Got my answer. I don't know what this All was. Right. I guess I'm like ringing a cowbell or something. But like, um, <laughs> my answer is, we talked about this before. It, was, it probably has to be the carnival, bro. There's so many people there um, so right in the beginning of the year, too. What? You stole my answer. Oh, I, stole your, I stole your answer. I have uh, my answer. Yeah, I, probably the carnival. There's so many people there. It's such a whole like school wide thing. You get to meet so many new people. You get to pop people in the face. <laughs> you get to try <laughs> so many new things that you might have not thought that you would have had the chance to do. Or Fried try Oreos or are overrated. Maybe. Fried Oreos are overrated. Just gotta say that. All right, keep going. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're like rated. 
But <laughs> yeah, anyway, if I had to, if I had to say one, that was probably my favorite moment in junior year. All right. I did mine. I would just like to add really quick. Was, just really quick. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, speaking of the carnival, that did wonders for our student government budget. I'm just saying. We heard to put that out there. So it was a shit for it. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Jason, I interrupted you. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. I would say my favorite moment was, um, like, I, I, being there when it was announced that the track team, that the South track team won winter, uh, the Winter County Championships. Yeah. Such a oh, gratifying, yeah. like, like electric environment, bro. It was, it was amazing. It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. That was a great moment. That was, I remember that. That was a great moment, great feeling. Never forget it. Like, never, ever forget it. Pandemonium. Yeah, we all going crazy. Yeah. And the coach was just like, yeah, nice job, everyone. Yeah, it was really good really <laughs> time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think maybe for this year, I think it was getting all county for badminton because, like, it was kind of a stressful moment, like, right before it happened because, obviously, in badminton, there's, like, three sets per game. And I was on – I had to win this game in order to get all counties. It was third set, and it was, like, within two points. Like, I had, like – 20 points and they had 18 and you need 21 to win and then when i scored that final point oh my god it was so relieving and it felt so nice uh it was just and then the era my coach was there all my friends were there it was great I, <laughs> it was fun Arm, do you have anything it, 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 i stole who <laughs> see like i've i've been trying to think this whole time i can't think of anything else other than the carnival because like it's like the only large event that i was really a part of so okay you know what I'll say something else. This isn't really a school <laughs> thing, but it's just like me, uh, more of a me thing. But I guess school kind of helped with it. So one thing is that in February, I hit my first muscle up ever. And that thing was like so annoying. I had to train for it for like three weeks straight. With like, like it was so rough. <laughs> and I crushed myself. Yeah. But just training for that. And now I can like actually do it consistently. So that was like one of the most satisfying things because that was like, yeah, I could feel the progress. So that was one of the best moments too. That's solid. You know what else you can feel the progress? When you join the track team with Jason. No, nope. yeah, yeah. Yo, team, yo. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to elaborate because I want some other people to speak, but yeah, you can definitely see progress. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, you know, what? the table no. harder. Just looks... Oh, go ahead. You know, I'm going to say something that isn't directly school related, but I think school That's had right. a lot to do with it. Uh, I, I know we mentioned my, a little bit about my lifting before. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. So this year I had the opportunity to go to an official uh, sanctioned powerlifting meet where I was able to actually set two state records. So yeah, I heard about this, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good job. Real. So, uh, I, I mean, it, it was a really big deal. I know that like seeing everything that I've done in the weight room, that everything Sias it's really done to help me with you know, becoming a better lifter really pay off where I was able to prove to everyone that, you know, that I, I could do it and prove myself that everything that I'm doing isn't just for nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so wait, what were yeah, your yeah. records that you wrote? So I set the New York State um, squat record and the total record, which is the total for the bench squat and deadlift. And I was able to qualify for the national and North American uh, drug tested championships. So like, what were the records? Though? Like the number? How much? The numbers. So the squat was around three hundred sixty-five pounds, and Jesus. the total was I want to say nine hundred sixty-five pounds. Ooh. That was at oh, what? <laughs> Wait, you're almost at the one thousand club. What the hell? I was I I wanted to hit the thousand club so bad. I'm at like looking at it. I'm I'm a little upset that I didn't, but uh, it, it was still a great experience. But still, that's yeah. like. You said 965 as like as a junior too. That's like crazy. Yeah, senior year gonna hit it easily. God, wow, that's actually something. <laughs> when we said he was a beast in the gym, we meant yeah, it. We were <laughs> <lying>. <laughs> All right, yeah, we were lying. Are you doing anything yet? Um, uh, orange so something. if I had to choose like a favorite moment from this year, like uh, obviously I'm part of the track team, and I was gonna say obviously what Jason said, like from the team aspect. Uh, of us like winning counties, I remember the last race was like I think it was the uh, four by two, and um, just like watching that race and like waiting and like cheering on your team, and then finding out that we ended up beating Matt Sapequa to um, like win the entire like 
winter like county title like that was just a crazy like, experience to be a part of like it was like a really great like team bonding experience like really like built me through our team but then if i had to choose like an individual moment from the track season was um was when i got all state at the state meet so um yeah. basically like to get all state you have to place within like i think the time with the i think it was like the top six or the top eight in uh in a, sp- in a specific event and so my mentality going into it was that i, can- I don't have anything to lose going to this meet because i came in ranked 12th so like, i was like kind of like one of the underdogs out of like i was like 12 out of 30 people so i was like just outside of like the i guess the, the best flight of guys so i had to break in from like the lower like flight and um i was like kind of going with the chip on my shoulder just because of the fact that i came in sec i did, had a really bad showing in ca- like county in the county meet i got second um but i feel like really poorly yeah i think really poorly it was really bad <laughs> then like, going to save me like i just i was just like i don't have anything to lose and so i just like, went in there um with that mentality and then i ended up like pulling out like a fifth place with a pr of like 60 feet in weight which was a very big like, milestone for me so like that i was just like really proud of that like, personally because i worked really hard for that yeah. That that be my favorite like, individual accomplishment. I think like, like even year. if you go back to the other episode we had you on Parker, I was asking about that sixty feet milestone because like I know there's something you were trying to get to, and also I I watched yeah. the fact that you say you did terrible, you got second in the county. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say that. Kind of doesn't go together, <laughs> but no, nah, it was it was just a really bad meet for me. Like it was like I want to say the the second worst meet I had like during the winter. Like the worst was my season yeah. opener. We don't even talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. That's we how good he is, meat. guys. Yeah, he's second nah, worst is nah, second place. Too, he's having me up too much. <laughs> but uh, what's it called? Like, it was just very gratifying when I hit the sixty foot mark in states. Like, I actually went in like saying like, if I don't get all state, but I hit sixty feet, like, it'll be a good trip. Like, but I ended up doing both, so like that was pretty hype. Damn. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, are you still silent over there? <laughs> no, I mean I was gonna talk about the carnival. I'm still trying to think of anything else to say. So it's like original, but. Uh, like, the only the largest school event was for me the carnival and like it was just a great time because um i don't know if you guys saw but i was me and andy were both running the pie in the face booth i know you mentioned it earlier i'm pretty sure we got to pie your own brother parker that was fun it was a good time yeah i'm pretty much um but it was fun because i was staying with my friends till like nine o'clock in the night just in the cold we were all suffering together but like we made it a good time Bro, it smelled so bad too. It you smelled, smelled so bad. <laughs> the amount of shampoo I put on the day after, it didn't help. It didn't help. But um, <laughs> the whipped cream was too much. Yeah, but yeah, I would say that is probably my favorite part of the school year. All right. Maddie's checked by the Senate, so uh, vote yeah. Jeevan for the Senate so we can yes. have another great carnival next year. Yeah, we're kind of getting forward right George. now. So we have just finished all of our questions, so we're going to leave it to the guests now to say their final message. So I guess you even yeah. you kind of you can go first I guess you kind of no, I I play the message I think well, I I know I talked a lot at the beginning Parker you want to go first um sure yeah I'll just something quick um I have to say to those like who are voting for uh, the senior class I just wanted to say that I have two years of experience in student government and I've been to almost every meeting and uh, I can contribute to uh, our class in like ways that I think that you need experience to. And just saying that, like, we have, like, very big events coming up next year, like, prom. And I was, I'm just saying that I'll be there for class to, um, I guess, be the voice and, I guess, try to organize a great prom and a great senior year. So that's my message. Vote Parker. Yeah, Vote Parker. And for president. All right. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll go now. So, uh, for my closing, the, the only thing I really want to say is that. Uh, it's been a great year being everyone's vice president. I know that uh, last year I ran, I had another election. It was a big election, and the everyone in the school really helped me come through. And I hope I've made you proud in the last year as your senior vice president. And I'm hoping you guys will just do it again. Uh, I, I I personally think we had a great year. Uh, I know a lot of things we talked about. We had a very successful year as far as the carnival, as far as running events, getting clubs passed, and that's everything that goes through Senate. So I think as someone who has experience with Senate, as one of the few people who might ever actually get to serve two years in Senate, uh, I, I hopefully with you guys, I, I'd like to get a second year in Senate so we can run everything smoothly, get everything going and pass even more clubs, get even more things we want to get done and get everything that we want. I know, especially for the people who are juniors right now, 
it's I, I'm hoping for a great senior year. Hopefully Parker's there with me, and hopefully we can have a great senior year, a great junior year if you're going to be a junior, great sophomore year for the freshmen right now. Just in general, hopefully you have a great year, and hopefully I'm your president for next year. So, guys, like we said, if you want to create more great memories, vote for Jeevan and Parker. Jeevan for the sand, yeah. Parker for president. So, that's our final message. Goodbye, and remember to vote. Yep. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. That's yeah, it, guys. That's it. See you guys next vote. week. So, yes, we're going to run you through, we're going to run some of the questions that we um, gave to Jeevan. <laughs> I've <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Okay, <laughs>